today was extremely productive. Uh, I was kind of disappointed last yesterday with our mental effort, our mental focus, our intensity throughout the entire length of practice where today I thought we maintained it and we built upon it. Um, very encouraged by our freshman wide receivers. I think they've improved our football team. And so, uh, you know, it's finally we're completing balls in practice. So <clears throat> I think they've been a big addition. But uh, we'll find out a little bit more, obviously, tomorrow when the uppers go on. But uh, overall, team-wise, I thought today was extremely productive. Is that, is that a good time that, that they came back ready? And it is. You know, we challenged them. And like I said, this group is extremely prideful. And uh, it, was, it was an OK practice. But our standard here is a little bit more. And uh, so I like the way we came back and we battled. We've thrown a lot at them, and I think they've digested the playbook, uh, the speed level, ball skills, the natural instincts. So again, they've really added the competitive component uh, to our offense, which was greatly needed. When, the, when all the pads are on, how physical do you plan to be, and how do you balance that with the fact that the game coming up? Well, very physical, but you're exactly right, Evan. It is a balancing act, and so we'll pick our spots. Um, but you know, that toughness was started to be born in spring, but to learn how to swim, you gotta jump into the pool. And so we'll, we'll have some physical practices coming up, but you have to pick your spots. Is there anybody who's not gonna be able to go physically? You know, right now, uh, just, uh, you know, some hamstrings here and there, but we fully anticipate everyone ready to go. He'll be playing linebacker, yes. Yeah. We anticipate him back towards the end of fall camp. What have you seen from those safeties the first couple of days? I know that obviously with, with Moore and McNeil, they're kind of battling each other. Which would be one of the more interesting battles of camp going into? Well, it is a battle. And I think, first of all, getting Brian Randolph back, you can see the recovery from spring ball to now. He's quicker, he's stronger. And then, uh, you know, with McNeil and Byron, you know, just the day-to-day -day competition. And again, competition is healthy, but it also helps us in the special teams game as well. Anything changed there with the, with the summer workouts? Because it looked like maybe Moore was getting a few more than one reps late in the spring, and now we feel early on, it looks like he's got some. No, just splitting reps, and you know, everything is earned by their body of work on the field. I am encouraged. You know, the great thing about Kurt is every rep is a rep, whether it's physical or mental. He's been really dialed in, tuned in. He understands our defense. And you can see him progressively getting better. Now it's only getting to practice two, but we could see him, uh, you know, becoming more fluid with his movements at the linebacker position. Well, it's I think it's a level of consistency. They know what's expected of them every day. The demands are the same. You know, we're going to start with great effort, great fine attention to detail, the meticulous attention to detail that it takes to play winning defensive football. And uh, I think the knowledge, you know, and they can see it. I think it's one thing that they work their skill set, but then they see why you do it. And it's teaching the why teaching them how to do it. That's the big thing. How is he effective in, I guess, transferring that knowledge? Well, every great teacher, your message has to be clean, clear, concise, and direct. And then each individual has a different learning curve. So you teach differently, whether it's walkthroughs, whether it's on video, whether it's on the board. And I think John has a great base of really understanding every individual in our defense and how they learn and how you motivate Well, we're going to have to rely on some true freshmen. And I know Cody's not a true freshman, but Malik Foreman is. And I think it's a lesson to Malik 
that every time you step on the football field, you got to be ready to play. And uh, it's just trying to put those freshmen in competitive situations, and we'll do more of that throughout the course of training camp. What do you see from those young corners the first couple days? I know that, obviously, because of the dead situation there, they have to be ready. They're, uh, they're sipping through a fire hose. Everything's coming at them. Um, and we're going to keep force feeding them. But they're very prideful. They're extremely competitive, and they take coaching. And I'm very encouraged, not only with Malik, but Cam Sutton as well. I'm, you know, I think we really helped ourselves at that position. Good. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.